In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NFL games happening on September 8, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NFL games. After after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Minnesota Vikings vs. New York Giants The Minnesota Vikings will kick off their 2024 NFL season on the road, facing the New York Giants. Both teams are coming off disappointing 2023 seasons, where they finished with losing records and missed the playoffs. This game marks the beginning of a new era for the Vikings, as they part ways with longtime quarterback Kirk Cousins, who left via free agency this offseason. The Giants, on the other hand, are also dealing with a significant departure, as star running back Saquon Barkley has signed with the Philadelphia Eagles. Despite these losses, both teams are looking to improve on last year's performance, with the Giants especially hoping for better health at the quarterback position and a return to playoff contention after a year's absence. Minnesota's 2024 campaign took a major hit when promising rookie quarterback J.J. McCarthy was ruled out for the season due to a knee injury. Head coach Kevin O'Connell now has no choice but to rely on veteran Sam Darnold, who is likely facing his last chance to prove himself as a starting quarterback in the NFL. While many have doubts about Darnold, I see more potential in him than most. It's worth remembering that much of his career was spent in less than ideal situations, including his time with the struggling New York Jets and a brief, turbulent stint with the Carolina Panthers. Despite the chaos in Carolina, Darnold managed to post respectable numbers in 2022, averaging 8.2 yards per attempt with seven touchdowns and only three interceptions over six games. Last season, he served as a backup with the San Francisco 49ers under Kyle Shanahan whose offensive philosophy is similar to O'Connell's, which could play to Darnold's strengths. The Giants, on the other hand, are coming off a dismal season and don't have much to be optimistic about on either side of the ball. First-round draft pick Malik Neighbors has shown flashes of star potential, but as a rookie, he still has a lot to prove. Beyond Neighbors, the Giants' skill positions are sorely lacking in talent. In contrast, Darnold has plenty of weapons at his disposal with the Vikings. Minnesota boasts one of the league's top receiving duos in Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison, and they've also added Aaron Jones to their backfield. Jones, who had an impressive preseason, looks poised to make an immediate impact and provide balance to the Vikings' offense. Both teams are undergoing significant changes on offense this season, but while the Vikings' changes appear to be upgrades, the Giants seem to be headed in the opposite direction. Sam Darnold is more than capable of stepping in and winning games while McCarthy recovers, and his veteran presence should help stabilize the team. Aaron Jones' arrival in Minnesota adds another dynamic element to their backfield, and he should thrive against one of the league's worst run defenses. The Vikings were also surprisingly strong on the road last season, finishing with a 5-4 away record, compared to a dismal 2-6 at home. Therefore, the Minnesota Vikings' money line is our full game side pick. Last season, neither of these teams lit up the scoreboard, and while the Vikings' offense may improve this year with a more stable quarterback situation following Kirk Cousins' injury, it could take some time for the new pieces, including Sam Darnold and Aaron Jones, to mesh. On the Giants' side, they did attempt to bolster their receiving core by drafting Malik Neighbors, but they still have Daniel Jones at quarterback, which doesn't inspire much confidence. Even worse, they let Saquon Barkley leave in free agency and replaced him with Devin Singletary, a clear downgrade at the run back position. Despite having a few game-breaking players like Justin Jefferson for the Vikings and Malik Neighbors for the Giants, neither team appears to have a consistently explosive offense. Both quarterbacks, Sam Darnold and Daniel Jones, are far from Pro Bowl caliber and will be working with several new pieces as the season begins. While each team might make a few big plays, given the weaknesses in their respective secondaries, I also expect plenty of mistakes as they adjust to new systems and players. Both teams struggled mightily in the red zone last year finishing in the bottom 10 in that category, and it doesn't seem like they've done enough to address those issues heading into 2024. The quarterback matchup of Sam Darnold versus Daniel Jones doesn't exactly scream high-stakes excitement. 
The Giants' top receiving option is a rookie, and beyond him, their depth chart includes the likes of Darius Slayton and Wandell Robinson, neither of whom are game changers. With Saquon Barkley now gone, the Giants are left with journeyman Devin Singletary as their lead running back, which is a significant downgrade. Their offensive line remains a weak spot, meaning Daniel Jones will likely find himself under pressure often, as has been the case throughout his career. However, the Giants did make a significant addition on defense by acquiring star pass rusher Brian Bird. Paired with Dexter Lawrence and second-year standout Kayvon Thibodeaux, the Giants' defense, particularly their pass rush, could be formidable. This game will be a tough test for Darnold, who is making his first start in a new offense on the road. The Vikings are also missing key players, including star tight end TJ Hawkinson who is recovering from an ACL tear. Nevertheless, Minnesota has a strong running back tandem in Aaron Jones and Ty Chandler, and I expect them to rely heavily on the ground game. Ultimately, I see this being a close game, likely decided by a late field goal. Given the uncertainties on both sides, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Jacksonville Jaguars vs. Miami Dolphins The Jacksonville Jaguars face off against the Miami Dolphins in the season opener this Sunday afternoon, marking week one of the NFL season. The Jaguars ended last season with a 9-8 record, while the Dolphins finished with a more impressive 11-6 record. Notably, this will be the first encounter between these two teams since the 2021 season, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the matchup. The Jaguars struggled mightily against the spread towards the end of the 2023 season, losing five of their last six games and dropping three consecutive games on the road. Their defense faltered down the stretch, particularly in away games, allowing opponents to score 28 points or more in each of their final three outings. Compounding the challenge for Jacksonville in this matchup is the fact that Miami boasted one of the league's top offenses last season, consistently ranking near the top in various categories, including first in total yards. This explosive Miami offense is more than capable of putting up points in quick succession. Furthermore, the Dolphins have an edge defensively, ranking just outside the top 10 in average yards allowed per game, while the Jaguars' defense ranked in the bottom half of the league. Jacksonville did little to address their defensive shortcomings in the offseason, leaving them vulnerable against Miami's potent attack led by quarterback Tua Tagovailoa. Expect the Jaguars to struggle in containing Miami's offensive firepower this Sunday. Quarterback Trevor Lawrence had a difficult season last year, plagued by costly turnovers, and head coach Doug Pedersen seemed to lose his touch as a play caller. The Jaguars let go of wide receiver Calvin Ridley during free agency and opted to replace him with Gabe Davis, who had a disappointing end to his time in Buffalo. Buffalo, where he was benched late in the season. This signing raised some eyebrows, as Davis has never caught more than 48 passes in a single season throughout his career. Additionally, running back Travis Etienne struggled to gain yards before contact, highlighting the offensive line's inability to create sufficient running lanes. On the other side of the field, Miami's head coach Mike McDaniel has established himself as an offensive mastermind, and with an entire offseason to prepare, he is likely to exploit Jacksonville's middling defense without giving much away. The Jaguars' significant offseason acquisition on defense was Eric Armstead, but at over 30 years old, Armstead's recent injury history and decline in effectiveness raise concerns. Former first overall pick Travon Walker has also underperformed, and Jacksonville lacks the depth in the secondary to adequately defend Miami's dynamic receiving duo of Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell. In fairness, very few teams can truly contain those two receivers. The Dolphins should have no trouble moving the ball effectively once again this season. Last year, Miami dominated their first four home games, winning each by at least 14 points. Given this history, the Miami Dolphins to win and cover the spread as favorite is our full game side pick. This matchup features one of the highest point totals on the board, driven by the explosive offensive potential of both teams. However, it's important to note that both squads also have respectable defensive units. The Jaguars scored 24 points or fewer in four of their last five road games last season, indicating some limitations in their offensive consistency. On the flip side, it won't be a walk in the park for Miami to rack up points against Jacksonville's defense, which ranked ninth in rush defense last season. Miami's offense also struggled to find the end zone late in the regular season, scoring 22 points or fewer in each of their final three games. Defensively, the Dolphins were stout at home, allowing 21 points or fewer in all but one home game. The under has hit in four of Miami's last five games, indicating a trend towards lower scoring affairs. Historically, recent matchups between these teams have leaned towards the under, 
with the last three games falling below the point total. In their last meeting in Miami, the Dolphins were held to just seven points. Additionally, Jacksonville's defense has limited Miami to 20 points or less in two of their previous three matchups. Miami went under the point total in four of their last five games to close out the 2023 season, and their offense failed to surpass 19 points in their final three games. In front of their home crowd, the Dolphins have gone under the point total in three of their last four games, with their defense holding opponents to 20 points or less in two consecutive games, including a shutout of the New York Jets in Week 15. Miami's defense ranked 11th in total yards allowed last season, suggesting they have the capability to limit Jacksonville's offensive output. The Jaguars also went under the point total in three of their last four games overall, and their defense even managed a shutout against the Carolina Panthers in the season's penultimate game. Overall, I'm not very optimistic about Jacksonville's offense. They were mediocre at best last year and took a step back by replacing Calvin Ridley with Gabe Davis. While Miami's explosive receivers often steal the spotlight, Mike McDaniel has shown a preference for establishing the ground game, which could further limit the total points in this matchup. Miami's defense, which finished in the top 10 in yards allowed despite dealing with numerous injuries, should be even better in 2024. There have been reports of locker room tension with former defensive coordinator Vic Fangio, who left after just one year with the team. However, the Dolphins brought in Anthony Weaver as their new defensive coordinator, and he comes highly regarded after receiving multiple head coaching interviews during the offseason. Miami also bolstered their defense with veteran signings like Cali Campbell and Kendall Fuller, adding significant experience to the unit. All signs point to a lower scoring affair in Miami on opening weekend. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.